Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where this time we are going to be designing a small backyard. So what I did is that I went to Google typing small backyard and this is one of the first pictures that came up. So I'm going to be using this as to uh, give you guys an idea what I would be doing when designing for a backyard. So some of the few things that I would start off is kind of seeing what is going on first, kind of analyzing what's there already and what we want to do with this backyard kind of seeing the low points high points um, where there's some existing materials if there is any access to this area um, for purposes of entrance and access to get out and so forth so one of the things that i'm always i'm um, having in mind is when i am doing a design i definitely want to know what this is going to be used for and also the family members or whoever owns this property what do they want to use this for so in this case i'm imagining that it's a a couple that just bought this house they don't have kids at this point in time uh but they don't want to have a lot of maintenance they want it to look nice but they don't want to go too crazy with it um, they want to have some options in terms of materials and so forth so with that being said i'm thinking okay what would be good for them especially if they have family coming over or friends what can we do for this specific space so with that being said i'm starting to kind of draw everything in place um i'm thinking that this area is uh 15 by 20. of course if you have an area similar to this you can use this for your own design keep in mind that every family or every property is a little different so you definitely want to keep that in mind so in this point right now i'm kind of putting some arrows where i'm looking at where the water is going to be traveling as you can tell there is a small wall there it's a little higher um, from the right to the left so water is going to be traveling from right to left so i definitely want to have that in mind when i'm doing this design so i'm just kind of getting some overall ideas for the space as to what i would want to do with this one of course if you are wanting to invest a lot we can always make this super elaborate having all kinds of stuff there fire pit fireplace and the list goes on and on of course not everybody has the budget for that so what i'm trying to do in this specific case is to make it um, nice enough for uh, people to come over kind of have a, a better better space to kind of move around but nothing too crazy for them so i'm just trying to draw for this space what i would want to kind of start as far as a base and then from there on kind of elaborate a bit more on that so you are seeing how i'm kind of putting down some lines kind of everywhere kind of seeing where i want things to go uh, in terms of space and how i want to utilize it so i'm kind of putting the areas for the fence and i am thinking that if this were to be say a couple that doesn't have kids at this point but at the same time they don't want to do a lot of maintenance um let's not add more um, at the same time, you definitely want to make sure that you know of the area, one, the climate, but also uh, within that, how much water you get naturally. Uh, is an area where there is a lot of rain or is it more of a high desert? All those things will be important to make your decisions when designing. So in this case, I'm thinking that this area is going to be a little bit more green, maybe a bit more of water naturally from rain, maybe humidity. At the same time, um, this would give us a few options. But as I said before, I'm thinking that the homeowners in this case, they just don't want a lot of maintenance. Uh, this, they are wanting to travel more. So they don't want to come home and having to mow the lawn every single week, maybe even twice a week. So for that reason, I don't want to put grass. Now, if this were to be the case that the homeowners have pets say dogs then we would want to add some grass but in this case they might have some cats i don't know i'm just making up a story as to why i would do what i'm doing here so what i am focusing is on having a bigger area a patio uh, with one material earlier you kind of saw from the picture that they do have uh, two kinds of materials one is uh big squares uh they're probably 18 by 18 uh, pavers and then also some flagstone so depending on what i would do with this one is i would one stick with one material 
either or and from there on kind of do the design in this case i am going to go with the pavers so this bigger space would be with pavers of course you can always do with concrete even with that you can also do stem concrete um you can also do it with flagstone um or if you don't have the budget for all that but you still want it to look look nice you may want to think of maybe having something like decomposed granite dg or also maybe some three quarter inch granite stone that would also be able to kind of stay in place and you can walk on it of course this materials these two materials the ones i just mentioned are not really meant to walk without shoes so keep that in mind um you could if you want to but um i'm pretty sure it would not feel so good on the feet so you're seeing how i'm also putting some stepping stones i'm thinking that if there is a lot of water this water is gonna want to exit in one way or another so what i'm thinking is if i leave enough gap some of this water that lands on some of this um open space it is going to flow from right to left so what i'm doing on the right side is i'm imagining that being a planter bed um, for perennials or maybe even some shrubs kind of raising it as is there is a small granite wall there um, not very well made it seems that they just put it because it was a higher elevation so i would want to keep that one but instead of having say this um, rock material i would want to want to use some type of block maybe an allen block in this case you just may need uh, two rows of block and a cap nothing too big just enough to kind of have that difference you kind of have that area where it's higher next to the fence um, and it just makes it look even nicer so in this case i'm kind of adding this area where i would probably have some wood mulch or maybe some decorative rock but just for now for the sense of this design this area would have a bit of mulch um, then you have your open space and everything else around it um, again you could do mulch but in this case i want to keep it even cleaner than that so i'm actually going to be doing rock instead so you're seeing how i'm just adding different colors just so um, when i'm presenting this to say some friends or whoever is the owner they can understand what i'm going with this so now i'm kind of putting what's already existing i should say that right now when i was doing this i kind of invert them but the idea is similar you know kind of having some of the existing uh shrubbery um, trees in this case and then adding some more maybe thinking of having something taller maybe something smaller a mixture of them if this area were to be an area where there's a lot of water then i would probably want to even do some type of small hedges maybe some uh boxwoods of course there's going to be many options but of course it will depend on where you are thinking that this area is fenced in there's a good chance that you could have all kinds of pretty stuff uh, mainly because if it's windy in this area um, it won't uh, affect as much especially if you do have fences all around so you can probably have all kinds of nice stuff um, again um, depending on the area you're going to be able to choose shrubs according to that um, other than that I would like to put a bit of that uh, three quarter inch stone in this case thinking that the bigger pad is going to be say a concrete pad or a paper pad the rest would be a three quarter inch rock so people can move around and it's just a nicer area just cleaner overall not a lot of maintenance not a lot of stuff going on it looks a little more simple but it is good in this case i'm thinking that this is meant for a couple um a uh, husband and wife that type of thing and they just don't want more of the maintenance they want to keep it super nice and tidy but nothing too crazy um maybe a bit of pruning every now and then but this is the design for this space what do you guys think about this is this something that you guys are thinking of doing in your future project maybe you're thinking of doing something similar to this let me know in the comments let me know if this is something i should be uh, doing some more of this style and if you have some suggestions put them down as well but of course don't forget the model here which is dream design create and i will see you guys on the next video take care bye, -bye.